Hi friends. By now, I'm sure most of you know about my passion for Tibet. I'm so serious about Tibet that I joined an organization, Boulder Lhasa Sister City Project, and I'm traveling into Tibet with this organization in August. The purpose of this video is to inform people about a serious parasitic disease in Tibet. And I'm trying to help BLSCP raise funds for a health education training project and also surgery for a 19 year old Tibetan girl, which will all take place this August. We're just trying to help lessen the suffering from this disease. Maybe I need to explain to you how my love for Tibet began. So I hope you take a few minutes out of your day to watch this video. Thanks. Back in 2005, my friends and I were in Kathmandu packing for our flight into Lhasa, Tibet. We had a week-long adventure ahead of us and we were really excited. But all of a sudden they said that our flight was canceled. We were not going to Tibet. Borders closed. That's it. In 2008, I finally made it into Tibet. I was a typical happy American tourist looking for that Shangri-La that everybody hears about when they think of Tibet. You know, the roof of the world, the Himalayas, Mount Everest. I was searching for all the magic and mystique. On that trip in 2008, I befriended a family that had so many needs. When I returned to the States, I committed myself to help from afar. Kyle and I even returned in 2010 to try to assist. But I finally came to my senses. One person acting alone cannot make a significant difference in Tibet. I want to tell you about a 19-year-old Tibetan girl, Lungse, who suffers from blindness and headaches caused by a preventable parasitic disease. Lungse is just one of many who suffer from blindness, headaches, epilepsy, seizures, all due to this parasitic disease called cystocercosis. This disease forms cysts in the brain or the eyes, and the risk factors for this disease are eating undercooked pork, the use of free-ranging pigs, lack of latrine facilities, lack of meat inspection, poor hygiene, and a poor economy. But this disease can be prevented through a health education program. And that is our reason for going to Chengdu this August. Our training materials will include pictorial information on the life cycle of sister cercosis. I know I will be meeting many Tibetans from villages who have this disease. And I also must say that I am really worried about Lumse. I've taken a special interest in her and since she was diagnosed in 2010 and still has not had surgery, I, I really, I am pulling for this girl. We are going to meet Lumse and her mother at the hospital assuming we raise the funds for her surgery. Her father passed away and they do not have the funds to pay for the operation themselves. I feel positive that we will raise the funds and I can just see myself pacing at the hospital waiting for the doctors to tell me that Lumse has partial eyesight. So I'll just get down to it. We need $16,500 for the health education training program. But we also are trying to raise $12,800 for Lumsay's surgery. And I cannot imagine showing up there empty handed. Again, I feel positive that we will raise the funds for the health education training and I also feel positive that we will raise the fund for Lunsay surgery but I'm a little scared because time is running out. 
we have less than two months to schedule her surgery. So if we all just pull together and donate a small amount, we can make a huge difference in a person's life. This health education program that you will hear about next will take place this August in Chengdu, China. Boulder Lhasa Sister City Project is an organization that is headed by Dr. Bill Warnock. He has been president of this organization since 1989. BLSCP has a non-political agenda and is a 501c3 corporation. In 1956, President Dwight E. Eisenhower started the People to People organization and BLSCP is an offshoot of President Eisenhower's initiative. The purpose of BLSCP is to foster relationships with Lhasa Tibet and Boulder, Colorado. Several of the areas that they have focused on are healthcare, technology, arts, and other cultural projects. The purpose of this video is twofold. First, we want to raise $16,500, which will be used to foster health care education and specifically trying to slow down the spread of a parasite that is transmitted from animals to humans. Secondly, we want to raise $12,800 raise $12, to fund surgery on a young Tibetan girl that has been afflicted with this parasite and has cysts on the brain. Hopefully an operation to remove some of these cysts will partially restore her sight. In August of this year, Sherry will accompany Dr. Warnock and several physicians to Tibet to discuss health care and sanitation with rural Tibetans and Tibetan leaders that will hopefully slow down the spread of this parasite. It is transmitted from animals to humans and education in how the disease can be slowed down will be most helpful. Later on in their visit, they hope to go to the hospital where this young lady that has been afflicted with this parasite and has lost sight in her eyes will have an operation to remove some of these cysts which will hopefully restore her sight. If you're interested in trying to help these people financially, there is a web page at the bottom of this sheet that will give you directions on how to do this. You can also use PayPal. We would also like you, if possible, to pass this video on to your friends and contacts list, contact list to let them know about this project and any donations that they might make would be most appreciated. Thank you for your time.